now with our exclusive interview with Ivanka Trump. The first daughter is spearheading a new White House initiative to help tens of millions of women in the developing world. She sat down with Abby Hunston from The Views right here by my side. It's a pivotal moment for the White House right now for Ivanka because she's not only first daughter, also senior White House advisor. She is, and she doesn't do a lot of these interviews, as you guys know. And so, obviously, this was for the initiative, and there was nothing off limits in this conversation. Ivanka Trump talking about the Russia investigation, the very personal attacks that she's had to endure, and of course, maybe making quite a telling remark about when she goes public with those opinions. Take a look. State of the Union just, what, a couple days ago. Yeah. Um, one of the biggest moments was seeing the women there, seeing how many women are now in Congress. Um, and there was that moment when the president cheered them on. But a lot of them, Democrats, ran against his policies. Were they cheering with him or in spite of him. Well, I think they were proud of themselves, as they should be. Everyone fought a hard race, and, and they won. Mm -hmm. they, they earned their seat at the State of the Union, and I think we should always celebrate the inclusion of more voices in Congress. So I think it was a beautiful moment. The State of the Union also marked a big moment for Ivanka personally. That night, the announcement of a plan she has spent two years spearheading. We are launching the first ever government-wide initiative focused on economic empowerment for women. The goal? To help 50 million women in the developing world by 2025. This is the first ever umbrella approach, an all-of-government approach to saying we know it is smart to invest in women in the developing world. We know it's smart to unleash their potential. It's a good use of development dollars. Let's coordinate all the work that's being done across the U.S. government. You know you're gonna have people watching yes. that say, this sounds great. Everyone can get behind women empowerment. But how does Ivanka Trump reconcile pushing an initiative that empowers women with policies from the White House, like separation of families, that was such an emotional thing for our country to go through. It was just last spring that the administration's decision to prosecute every adult that crossed the southern border illegally led to the separation of nearly 3,000 children from their families. President Trump told lawmakers Ivanka showed him photos of children in detention centers, and it was her that encouraged him to end the zero tolerance policy. My job as a member of this administration is not to share my viewpoint when they diverge. Subsequently, I was asked the question and I gave an answer. But my role in this regard is not to, as in, is not president of all women's issues or running all women's issues across the United States government. Do you wish that maybe you had spoken publicly to the American people? I think that when you hear me start to speak publicly on an issue that's active, it's because my voice isn't being heard privately. The Mueller investigation sounds like it's coming to an end at some point soon. You've said before, nothing concerns you. No. Some of the president's former aides have, have now been charged, and people are saying, look, the walls are closing in. Sitting here now, knowing that it is almost over, are you concerned about anyone in your life that you love? No. Being involved? There's nothing there. Yet it's created weeks and weeks and months and, of headlines. So no, I have zero concern. Another headline making news, a controversial new art exhibit in Washington, D.C. That invites people to essentially throw crumbs at a model that resembles you as she vacuums the crumbs up. When you see this, how does it make you feel? Well, I think it's a very sexist representation of a woman. But what bothered me about this image is that they hired a 16-year-old girl to stand there and have crumbs thrown at her for two hours a day for a couple of months. So I have a real problem with that. And, and that was what infuriated me more than anything. Well, we started talking about women. When you think about the initiative that you really launched today, yeah. who are the women that come to mind that are your heroes? Oh, wow. So many women inspire me. The women I meet when I travel. Is Melania one when you think about women that you look up to? Melania is amazing. I've known Melania since I was 16 years old. My mother, my grandmother, God bless her, she's 92 years old. She lives with me half the year and in the Czech Republic half the year. So of course I have tremendous people in my family that I admire deeply. 
Ivanka also sharing that with her role in the White House, she's facing a harsher spotlight than ever before. And though she used to enjoy sharing images of her children that we all saw on social media, she now wants them to, to shield them from all of that negativity, something we can all relate to. I grew up in politics. My dad's now ambassador to Russia. I understand that scrutiny, but I don't imagine you'll be hearing from her a lot mm -hmm. more. She, she talks a lot about her passion as policy behind closed doors. Yeah, she kind of comes out for the initiatives but plays a big role behind the scenes and wants more of that to be private. She said when you see anything bipartisan happening, whether it's criminal justice reform, human trafficking, she goes, that is myself and my husband working behind the scenes. That's what we're doing and that's the impact we're going to have. So again, she doesn't love these interviews, um, but she's a senior advisor. So it's important for the country to hear from her. It's important to ask some of these tough questions. Um, but look, she's in a and difficult you'll show, role. You'll show a lot more in The View this, yeah, this, the view this afternoon. The Trump Moscow project. Uh, we're going to have part of that. Also, the leaking in the White House. How is that still going on two years later? Um, that and much, much more at 11 a.m. Uh, Eastern on The View. Okay. Abby, great stuff. Thank great you. interview, Abby. Thanks. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.